project is taking a lot longer than we thought it was going to. We've been at this for like almost a week. <laughs> because we sanded two days of sanding and then we did the epoxy, which took a while to dry. That was like a day and a half, two days almost. And then um, Alex had to sand it. So we had to do two coats of primer. Called for more, but we didn't have enough and it's really expensive. And then the anti fouling has to go on within eight hours. So we did one coat of that after a second coat of primer. And then yeah, all wait. the dry times and stuff yeah. are like very specific. And then I finally taped off yesterday the line to do the blue line by the water line. So that should get done today. And then we should oh, be done, done the bottom <laughs> I take I take this line. This is my line that I take. Oh, so you did a pretty good job. You did a pretty good job. Yeah, look at that job. It's not as good as my line. Wow. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You did good. picked up this at Main Canadian Tire. Tire for like 40 bucks. It was way bigger than some of the other stuff. But it is marine paint. It's the same color we need. So it should work just fine. It was way cheaper. It's just yeah, accessible to 40 us bucks, too. Canadian Tire. <laughs> there was another can that was like, I don't know, a quarter of the size for 40 bucks from the marine store. So I've decided that I'm gonna hand paint the um, around the waterline only because taping it is probably gonna peel off a lot of the anti-fouling that we've already done. And it's a really clean line that we've already made. So I'm just gonna go through and hand paint. I'm pretty good at hand painting. I do it all the time with my job. So I've got some uh, experience with that and I'm gonna see how that goes. See this professional job? take me a little while to hand paint but this stuff spreads pretty good yeah she'll do that and then we'll roll it afterwards and get as close as we can to the bottom to blend it all in yeah that's what crystal's gonna be doing for the next 15 minutes oh longer than that i'll be probably like a good half an hour no blast it off no blast it off no <laughs> all i need is 10 more minutes 10 more minutes with you let me give it all one last shot Will I ever get through to you? Oh, am I wasting my time? Should I leave for the night? It's unclear at the moment Can you give me a sign? I'm here trying and trying I need ten more minutes with you So let me know if you give up hope Do I leave you alone or I leave you alone? So let me know if you give up hope by now Okay, so we had to change up change up our plan a bit. Alex had to go behind me and roll because this paint actually dries really quick. And as I was leaving like little streak marks or whatever, they were uh, kind of dry and clumpy, but this is so far, this is my freehand work. And then Alex went behind and rolled kind of where it didn't freehand and smoothed things out. It's coming along really nice. Not too bad. It's all right for uh, amateurs. <laughs> Yeah. 
I'm doing a good job. This line's gonna look beautiful. because then we'll go over the black line. We had to put an extra piece of tape too because we kept getting paint on the boat, but. just taped out the um, water line for the rudder because things went up a little bit higher than um, they were supposed to. So I'm just kind of eyeing it out. And this is kind of what I've ended up with so far, so I'm just kind of sanding. All right, so we're about to put our rudder back on. We had some issues getting it off the first time, which <laughs> was kind of ridiculous, but you have to actually angle it the right way or else it gets stuck. So we thought it was not yeah. going to, uh, we thought there was like a screw somewhere or a bolt somewhere and it was just tilted the wrong way. You have to actually like line it up and just pull it out. So super easy. So we'll just give a little quick how to. Yeah, I left the people like us. I left the bolts <laughs> a, little, a little loose. So there's yeah. going to be a touch of play with it, but yeah, yeah. unless it's perfect, the pins bind. Yeah. So, and it's heavy. Yeah. But that's the trick. We couldn't find any videos on how to get our rudder off. So, um, that is the trick is to just, you gotta align it so that the bolts are straight and then pull it up. At so. least for ones that are similar to ours or anything, there's no yeah. locking pin or anything. It just yeah. pulls out. The rudder will be able to just go because I'm going to tape the blue piece. I'm going to tape the water line and then we should just be able to go. To be honest, I could have even went lower with this water line. That would have been. Alright, so I'm just going to epoxy those little spots and then tape the paint.
some sandwiches for Alex and me and we're gonna head down to the boatyard he had to work today so um, I'm just kind of getting stuff ready for lunch and then we have to go do the blue paint still like the, the strip on the side of our boat and then we also have to do um, finish the rudder up just because we laid it down and it kind of got dented a little bit so we kind of had to fix it yeah so wish us luck it's officially like day eight of the boat project and we're hoping to kind of get everything done so hopefully hopefully today's the last day alex is back we're on our way to the boat yard yeah is today the final day i don't know we've been saying that for <laughs> a couple days and stuff keeps coming up but i don't know it, we'll go in saying it's the final day is it the i hope it's the final day i think i think this is it i think it's the one sun shining yeah having a squint it's nice yeah it's supposed to rain literally for the next week so Today, I'm really hoping it's a fun day because we don't have any more time now. Like, it's... The sun's killing me. Yeah. <gasps> but yeah, we're running out of time, so today better be the day we finish, but yeah. let's hope for it. Wish yeah. us luck. It's been going good, so... Yeah. <laughs> Handy sandwiches that we made. So it's lunchtime, lunch break. Yeah, I didn't have. I didn't even have to make the sandwich. Yeah. I just get to eat it. It's and perfect. Break time. On. Okay, so after watching some other YouTuber channels, we've decided to go with the Rust-Oleum spray paint to spray our prop. It's basically for the zinc. You can buy the stuff from the actual marine store, but it's really, really expensive. And this stuff, I believe, has 93. Anyway, not that it matters. I think it has 93 or 95 percent pure zinc. And that's pretty much all you need. The zinc is what stops it from rusting. Yeah, so we're gonna spray paint our prop. We've seen some other people on YouTube that use the same stuff, so we're gonna attempt the same stuff and see how it holds up. Goes. 
now that it's drying up you can kind of see it looks really good actually this color looks nice it dries on really nice yeah so now our prop will be protected it's pretty good actually it was only ten dollars for that can where'd we get that canadian tire i think eh? Yeah, we canadian got it tire, at canadian tire it at walmart too but yeah it was like ten ten dollars maybe eleven something but anywhere yeah. from eight to twelve bucks crazy canadian crazy but yeah it looks good we're done done our boat's done <laughs> Stay tuned next week to find out what happens with our mast. Oh my god. Hey, I'm Crystal and this is Alex. And this is our fur baby Dexter. Together, we bought a Tanzer 26 and are currently sailing on Lake Ontario. We are complete beginners with no previous experience. Subscribe and join us as we learn how to sail and fix up our boat.